Hi, I'm Stephanie Sackerman. I'm a mom, an educator, a certified mindfulness teacher, and an IAWP certified wellness coach. And I'm really excited to be here with you today because I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can improve your relationships, any relationship. It could be with a partner, it could be with a parent, even a child. And the strategy that I'm going to share with you today is one that I do in my own life. Um, and it's one that I recommend to my clients and the moms who I support. And the strategy is somewhat simple. It's to practice mindfulness. So before I lose you, let me just give a quick uh, rundown of what mindfulness is. So mindfulness is when you bring your attention and awareness into the present moment. Okay, so you're aware of your thoughts, you're aware of um, your physical feelings and your emotions and whatever you're experiencing. And that part of mindfulness is intrapersonal mindfulness. It's, it's all about you, right? But there's another part of mindfulness called interpersonal mindfulness. And this is how we bring that attention into our interactions with others. Okay, and one of the greatest things that we can give anyone is the gift of our attention. And so when we do engage in this mindful way, we're actually, you know, we're able to listen better, we're able to communicate better, and we're able to respond um, in, a, in a better way. And, and part of that is because with mindfulness, another piece of mindfulness is this concept of responding to whatever we're experiencing with kindness and non-judgment. And we bring that into our interactions with others. Okay, so when we, when we do that, we're able to kind of think about like, well, where is the other person coming from? You know, what might they be thinking or feeling? And when we do that, we have a much greater perspective and um, a better ability to respond in a more compassionate way. And when we do mindfully um, interact in this way, we're empathically engaging. And Dr. Arthur C.R. McCauley, um, he is the author of The Stress Solution and also a faculty member at the IAWP, has done extensive research um, on empathic engagement. And when we engage empathically, there are some really amazing benefits. So one of the benefits is that our body actually produces oxytocin. Now, oxytocin is known as the love hormone or compassion hormone, and um, it's a, it has a very, very calming effect on our bodies. So when we're engaging in this beautiful, mindful, and empathic way, oxytocin is being produced. In addition to that, cortisol, which is the stress hormone, is actually being blocked. So it's kind of like a, like a double win. Okay. And in addition, when we are having um, interactions that are truly empathic, so like we're really present, we're not thinking about, you know, what we're going to make for dinner or the laundry that needs to get done or what we're going to say next, we're actually, um, we're producing um, all sorts of happy feelings um, and feelings of trust and feelings of security and even greater resilience. So how can you bring this into your own life? The strategy that I'm gonna share with you today is to bring in 10 mindful minutes. Okay, now I suggest 10 minutes. I think it's, it's a good starting point, it's pretty doable, but if you only have five minutes, that's fine. And if you wanna go for 15 minutes, then that's fine too. So the first thing you need to do is figure out, well, you know, who are you going to do this with? Right? And how often are you going to try to do it? So for example, some of the moms who I work with will, will set aside 10 to 15 mindful minutes three to four times a week with their children. Okay, so you want to make sure it's something that's doable for you. Now, during these mindful minutes, you're just going to be present with the other person. Okay, So that means noticing. Noticing their face. Okay? If it's a child, studying their face. You know, our, our children grow up so fast and, and really for any of us, the way that we look in this moment today, um, we're never going to look exactly the same. We're never going to be the exact same person we are in this moment. So just really studying them and letting it sink in, but also noticing, you know, noticing their body language and any nonverbals and, and maybe noticing if there's some stress in their brow or if their shoulders are tense, you know, and listening listening to not only their words and hearing their words too, but also listening to the tone of their voice. You know, is there softness? 
or is there an edge to it? And another part of, of mindfulness is responding to whatever we're becoming aware of with this curiosity. Okay, so if you do notice that this person that you're you know, communicating with is, maybe they're really tense and there's an edge to their voice, instead of just taking it as, oh, it must be something that you're doing, you know, or responding in turn, instead thinking like, hmm, I wonder, I wonder why they look that way. I wonder why they sound that way. And maybe even asking them like, hey, how was your day? Or how has your week been? You know, and really being there and really listening. And when a person feels that they're being heard and that they're really being paid attention to and they're being cared for, they feel very, very valued. And, and that has so many positive effects for your whole relationship. You know, and, and don't forget to bring in that concept of non-judgment too. Okay, so whatever your conversation is, is about, you know, making sure that you're not being critical, you're not being judgmental. If you're playing with your children and they're playing the most ridiculous game or they're stacking the blocks and you know that they're about to fall down, stop yourself before you make suggestions. You know, just, just let them be and be with them and follow their lead. Okay. And so doing this is going to absolutely have profound effects on, on your relationships. And so I, I can't wait to hear about how you, um, how you see it play out in your own life. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about mindfulness, how to bring it into your own life, the incredible impacts that it can have, um, please reach out to me. You can check out my website, www.llbwc.com. And um, I wish you so much luck. Have fun with this. And until we connect again, may you live, love, and be well.